Well, boys, today we are back out in FS19. And for those of you that may or may not remember, we are out on the Rich Redneck Ranch. Now, we had a lot of stuff out here, including mud pits. I think we even got a full dirt bike track back here. And, of course, in FS19, there was so many cool mods that we ended up doing and making videos on. But today, we're going to be back here checking a couple of them out, having some fun with them, and all around, hopefully, just having a good time. So we're going to get these all loaded up here, and then we'll head out to the mud pit, and then possibly head out to the dirt bike bike track a little bit later by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video help me out by giving that like button a little tap it helps out the video a ton and i appreciate it so much and while you're down there if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and helps me make videos just like this so if you want to see more the button's down there all right everything's loaded up here i tossed the pit bike in the back just in case but uh, we're gonna get going here because we got some mudding to do also one of my favorite things about fs19 mods is we can make them roll as much coal as we wanted and this thing does roll a lot of coal. Now, also down at the mud pit, we've got a couple trucks and such, so we may take some of those through the pit there. But I think in about a week from today, it will have been six months since I posted my last FS19 video. So just like half a year. We've been away from FS19 for half a year, so that's pretty cool. Well, here we are, and there is Monster Max. Yep, it hasn't changed a bit. So this over here is the big mud bog we built. And one thing I really, really miss is having real mud, because we don't have that in FS22 yet, so it's still cool that we can come back here in FS19 and still play around with it a little bit. But this quad right here, probably one of the most prominently featured quads on the channel ever, the k and Renegade. One of my all-time favorite quads. Let's see if we can still make it through the mud pit. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot how much this thing just sends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's still got it. As long as we don't break our neck first. Man, I forgot how much I love this thing. Still sends it just as good. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. I'm fixing to break my neck here. I don't think there was ever a time where we actually ended up getting this thing fully stuck. I think it's just about being able to make it through everywhere we've been through. Ah, yes. The good old Honda boat. I'm pretty sure we had snorkels on this thing at one point. Point, but I don't remember where they went. I think we did manage to get this thing stuck a couple of times. It doesn't send as good as the Renegade, but it'll still climb through just about anything. Oh, are we actually getting this thing stuck? Oh, no. No, it's it's just sending it. Oh, it's got it. Those big EFX Moto Havocs just chew through anything until they don't. We don't have a lift on this thing, so it tends to get hung up pretty easily. But as long as those tires got something to grab onto, they're pretty much good. Monster Max. Man, I forgot how much coal this thing rolls. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Like, I think we might have went a little too heavy on uh, on the tune with this thing. Oh, yeah. This is this truck will probably never, ever be stuck. I don't think we have a mud pit deep enough around here. Or at least we never built one deep enough. This is actually the original Monster Max. And I'm hoping one day we can actually have uh, Monster Max 2.0 in farm sim which would be pretty dang cool you know one thing i never tried was the pit bike i wonder how far it would make it i gotta try that now all right it's pit bike time let's see if it can make it through the mud pit i don't know if we ever took a dirt bike even through this mud pit i can't remember off the top of my head oh no oh maybe it's got it maybe it's got it it's just trying to kick it out everywhere it goes but we're still going somehow look at this i did not think this thing would make it through in the slightest it just try keeps trying to kick the back end out oh man this thing is way too much fun I may have to take this on the dirt bike track and we can cruise around for a little bit with it. God, how much fun this thing was. This mod right here. I think this thing is almost, oh, it's got to be almost four years old at this point. Maybe even over that. Like, this is an old mod, but it still sends like crazy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there it goes. Pretty sure there's NOS on this thing somewhere. And not to mention it's the turbo version of the Razor. There it goes. Oh, no. Oh, that's the crappy thing about this is it just flipped really easily. It's any level time. Did I just put it right down to go through this? Yeah, let's try it. Now that we've got much turning radius with that. Oh, yeah. Cruise is right on through. This thing's got so much power to it, it's actually ridiculous. Just a little jump at the end there. Oh, I forgot we could do donuts with this thing. I wonder what happens if I lift it up. Oh, we just do that. We could squat it. That works just fine, right? Oh, yeah. Squatted truck through the mud hole. There it goes. I think this truck next to Monster Max was my favorite truck in FS19. All of FS19 had to have been my favorite truck. Oh man, my nice rims. Oh, they're definitely toast now. So since I had the time and the equipment down here to do it, I decided I'd swap over Monster Max to its original small tires. Like, I don't know if they're original, but at any rate, they're very small tires with some insane tread on them. So I have a feeling it'll be able to eat pretty good. Unless it does happen to get stuck, there's not much clearance for the axles. Tread just, yeah, it just sends it right through this mud pit. 
These are actually assassinator mud tires, I'm pretty sure. They're the ones for UTVs, and uh, we somehow managed to mount them up to Monster Max. And it just eats right through here. Okay, so I brought a couple things over here to the dirt bike track, or the motocross track, whatever you want to call it. Got the pit bike, and I brought the Cyber Quad. Now, I'm not sure how much battery this thing has left, but I think we're going to take it for a ride anyway. Why is it so slow? Maybe it's just because it doesn't have any engine noises, and it makes it feel really slow. <laughs> okay, front end weight on this a little bit on the heavier side oh yeah the front end weight is just so screwed up on this quad i don't think the pit bike's gonna do much better through here because uh last i remembered it uh oh okay well that's the end of that anyway pit bike reason why it doesn't do so good through here is because well frankly it likes to go all over the place and it's impossible to hit a jump except unless you're not trying to hit that particular jump and then you just do anyway so, you know it hasn't always worked the greatest on the track can we actually manage to hit a jump one jump okay there we go that kind of worked no not, that's not what i want to hit no that oh okay well at least we landed a flip oh we did not land that one. Oh, maybe we did this bike has like a self-writing frame on it you know it just self-writes itself and that's a mouthful come on big jump time nope <laughs> it's just not having it you just cannot send it over any jumps it's just like no nope, no nope, sorry not gonna happen i guess the pit vipers ain't helping much one more thing that i wanted to check out while we're out here is the sherps these are in my opinion one of the more cool mods now if you guys don't know what a sherp is basically it's like a complete all-terrain off-road vehicle it can go over ice snow water probably lava to be honest lava lava I, I don't know point is it can go over just about anything including this fence yep just okay well that maybe not so well one thing i will say they're kind of like a turtle once they get on their roof you know or their back it's it's not a good situation best part is though you got a stocked pond you shut her off right in the middle floats right here you open up everything you sit on the top stand on the top whatever you want cast the rod into and catch away perfect no launching boats no nothing you get to go right in the middle of the pond and just chill out pretty good if you ask me well look what i found probably one of the biggest vehicles in fs19 monster bus yeah this thing is pretty nuts four wheel steer rolls coal oh man that that does roll a lot of coal yeah this is probably the craziest vehicle we ever built in fs19 it's got some crazy suspension on it it's it flexes like crazy and you just go through anything in this anything and everything you just cruise right through it, it does not care this thing is just such a beast you can do donuts like there's no tomorrow you can even make it go sideways or if you want the other way hold on i gotta take it through the mud pit like this we'll see how this goes four wheel steer for the win here apparently we can do this too because yeah that was what four wheel steer was made for <laughs> although these uh barriers are quite uneven so it doesn't really work the best yeah, let me just cruise right over this. Yeah, there we go. Don't get stuck on me now. Oh, man, this thing was so much fun. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you guys want me to check out more FS19 stuff, let me know down in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll do another video. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.